Okay, so welcome to this year's art gallery. These are two of the introductory pieces to the art show. On the right, um, that actually is our poster this year. This was designed by Zhongo Zhang, who was one of the people who uh, really had the inspiration for an art show in the first place a year ago. Um, but she designed this poster at the tail end of the last year's season and we used it for this year's show. But that photo was taken by her and it inspired this theme, a sense of place. And right next to it is the mural that was created over the last two weeks. It was on the second floor area and students were painting according to that theme, a sense of place, and came up with all these images and we placed it here in the gallery to greet people as they came in. So this is our uh, one part of the fine art collection that was submitted this year. This is a combination of pieces from Say Kim's class, I believe her 1020 class. Uh, Say Kim is one of the uh, main organizers this year of this year's uh, program, and she is great about getting her students to do work that they can put into the show. And to the left of it, we have um, a digital uh, drawing pieces uh, by Philip Garcia, who's the new film, film media arts professor. Uh, so it's really extraordinary work he submitted to the show for display. And this here is the uh, this here's best in show image by Ji Young Moon. Uh, Ji Young submitted a lot of work to this year's program, and she was one of the the main contributors with digital art and mostly uh, photographs. Yeah. Um, so this is a piece she took uh, in Myanmar, and so photography in general was a really big feature of this year's program. This is another piece by Ji Young Moon, a uh, really great silhouette image. Uh, we also have this quite unique uh, piece in this year's program that's uh, by Anujin uh, Mutbat, and this is, I think, an image of her father or grandfather, I'm not sure, but but it's done with, um, it was part of a, a trash art project, and so it's made from styrofoam and also different uh, food packages and stuff, so it's really great, really pops off the wall. So, those are one of mine. <laughs> Uh, we also have, uh, every once in a while, UAC faculty gets together and has uh, kind of painting parties. Uh, Say Kim helps organize those. And so this is an image that was done at a recent event by Fatima um, uh, Mahalian. Um, and she's one of our new engineering professors. So it's really great to see her put her work in. She also did some photography for this year's show. And so this is a really nice uh, vantage point to come in to the art gallery with. Uh, in the foreground, we have an image by Ji Young Moon again. And just behind that is an image of that Lauren Butler put together of a portrait of one of her friends. Um, so these two eyes kind of looking at you as you come in is a really striking juxtaposition. Um, and Lauren was another like main contributor to this year's show as well. So she did this piece, but she also did a really nice piece that I should not have skipped over, so let's go back to it. <laughs> so this is another one of Lauren's pieces here. And it's really lovely, and uh, she did it this last year. Uh, so it's an image of uh, someone in traditional hanbok, but wearing a mask, so it sort of has a nice sense of place and sense of time as well. So down this way, we kind of call this our water section. Uh, it's a series of pieces related to the sea or landscapes. And so this is a series that Simon McEntengar put together. Um, and he filmed this, or shot these images near the beach. And really great uh, mood to those pieces. We also have in this section two of our winning pieces as well. Um, this is a, our best digital photograph by Alyssa Venanskaya. Uh, it looks like a painting, but it's a digital photo. And this is a piece, uh, a fine art drawing by Isabella Choi, who was one of our honorable mention winners this year. We also have um, this series here by Kira Lovell uh, that relates to preservation of sea turtles. So it was a nice, uh, a unique contribution to the program. And this is a batik image. And this was uh, Isabel Choi's honorable mention piece, a photo of her grandfather. So it really, again, fit the theme of sense of place. And so we really like that. And this is a part of a beginning of a whole section on analog photography. 
So in the last year, the UAC uh, built the darkroom and all these images were printed in the UAC darkroom. So one of them that's really um, fantastic is this winning piece by Soyeon Kim. And she's an engineering student and she shot this image of her sister, but it has a really uh, great texture to it. And we also have a series of photos by Professor Mar Maria Teresa Garcia Martinez. Um, she um, went to an island near the border of North Korea, and this is the image that won best analog photo for the faculty. And it's an image of a woman looking back over the border at her family home. And these are works uh, submitted by film and arts professor Gaia Bonsignore. And uh, she, we printed them in the dark room. Uh, these are some works she had from the past. And these are two images by Joshua Ha. And Joshua, as some people might know, he contributed quite a bit of work to last year's art show. And so he has two pieces here and a few more in this other section of the gallery. And these are more landscapes by Ji Young Moon as well. This is the best digital art piece by Hee J. Kim. Uh, we didn't have as much of the digital art this year, but uh, this is a really nice one that he contributed. And this is a really fantastic piece by um, Laura Butler again, and this one honorable mention. So more work by Joel Atkinson and Ji Young Moon. And this here was the winning digital photo by faculty uh, from Simon McEntegar, relates to his series that you saw by the sea. This one's called Narsha, which I think means rising. And it's actually gonna be an album cover for um, his wife's new album. And here's another photo by Alyssa Vedenskaya. More of Lauren Butler's work here. Ji Young Moon. Oh, and sorry, really nice uh, color combo from Karina Pals. So here we have the series by Say Kim. This is a recent work. On the night of the opening, um, um, Ali Para played a musical piece uh, in, to accompany this, and it was a really nice moment for the art show. Uh, but Say really uh, did a lot for this year's program in terms of getting her students to submit work. Um, chiefly was this display that you don't see here right now, but it was a, a Pyrex uh, shoe rack uh, full of shoes that her, st her class, her students produced in their class for 1020. And these are images from that event where they did shoe art, painting different, uh, I think mostly vans, but they painted them and we had them on display here in the gallery. And this is a combination piece of uh, from an um, installation that Alicia Klein produced for a dance film she's making. And Nathan Meyer uh, shot the photos for this. So it was kind of a nice collaboration that we added. And here's our best photo series by faculty from Scott Morris. Uh, it's called Downtown Lubbock, but it has a really, really strong with our theme of sense of place. And these are works by Joshua Ha as well. He's always been great contributing to the show. And this is a really nice uh, work, uh, photo series by Hei Chun Kim, or Gim, sorry. And uh, he, um, this piece is reflecting the three main religions uh, in modern time in Korea. Uh, it looks at Buddhism on the left, Confucianism at center, and Christianity on the right here. Uh, but Hei Chun's been a really great diplomat for the show as well. He brought a lot of people to look at the gallery. And these are two works by Nyam Lee, who contributed concept art this year and last year. And this is one of my favorites because it uh, deals with film media. And that leads us into a cool section of our gallery that is not working at the moment because we're taking things down. But this was the cinema garden that um, Alyssa Vedenskaya had put together that was a replica of a film set she created for the film Chameleon she's producing right now. So this screen is made of uh, different stationary paper. And we projected this year's video on the screen, but also had some other things, popcorn machine, plants, and a ladder full of DVDs, kind of little accents to add to the comfort. And so this was nice because every day people were coming to watch videos and 
each day around four, a lot of the uh, local school kids come running through here and they would watch different videos that we had. So it was a really nice part of the art show this year. And here's Scott Morris, who's looking at his winning piece. And Scott was one of the great helpers this year with organizing the show and getting it off the ground. Thank you, Scott. Yeah. <laughs>